All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, Chris here from QSC, the pr product manager for portable loudspeakers. Uh, we're in Hilton Head, hanging out with the DJ Think Tank group. Um, why, why don't you guys tell them, tell them what we're doing here? Yeah, you know what, we'll take it. You know what, uh, Think Tank is a national organization of entertainers, DJs, uh, whether you're single op, multi op, uh, we have the privilege and pleasure of being with some of the greatest minds in the entertainment field and rocking out and doing it here in Carolina, huh? Yep, lead, share, learn, baby, that's, that's what it. we do. That's yep. it. Humidity or not, you know, we're gonna get through it together. Yeah, so we'll just let you guys know who we are. Um, you probably see us on the DJ discussion every Wednesday. Right here in the front, we got the boss lady, Kristen Wilson, out of bam, Orlando, bam, Florida. Bam, 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 Up bam, front, bam. Jordan, tell them who you are. Jordan Marshall, from New Jersey, doing it live with my partner Dylan Weissman, Explosive Entertainment. And right over here, he's not as tall as he looks, I'm just short. <laughs> We got Nate Nelson out of Dallas, Texas, LaForce. So look, we are super, super, super psyched to be showing you guys off some of the best and brightest in the speaker community. And, and Chris, like, it's not just a really good looking seat. Like, what, tell us what we got here. Fancy chair aside. Yes. Uh, Drink holder is more <laughs> the term I'd like to use. Uh, not on my watch. Yeah. <laughs> you guys all have those pieces of tape, right? No drinks on the subs. Um, yeah, so we've got, we've got three different models of sub here that we just went through. We did a full demo for everybody in the room. Um, started off with the cardioid sub, which my man is sitting on on that side. Dual 12 inch sub, plug and play cardioid. So it's 15 dB quieter in back than it is in front. What, how did you guys feel about that experience? Well, so, so it? hold on, like back it up. What is card, like cardioid is what to us? So cardioid is, you know, car cardioid is heart shaped, right? So it essentially, because you know, it kind of looks like a little bum if you, if you look at it the wrong direction, um, but it's, it's pushing the energy forward and canceling the energy behind it, just like a microphone does. And that's good for DJs because you spend 90% of your time behind your speakers, and I don't know about you guys, but when I leave an event, my ears are sometimes ringing because what? that sound is behind and it's just so loud. Now, it's really great when you're mixing with a lot of your bass and stuff <clears> like that, but you guys have no idea. I've ran these subs. I have these 118s. Uh, I have four of them, so I've been able to run them in cardioid mode back to back for some proms. And the sound difference in the back is is game changing. Like my ears didn't hurt. I had no yeah. ringing. Uh, you're literally it, putting it, years it, onto your career. Well, it almost feels, ears back. We're getting yeah, ears it's back. Like it almost earplugs. feels like you're taking an ear. You it's like, like you I have stick an ear plug in and then I walk in the back and that's what that's like. Right. Yes. Can I tell them what I'm call that speaker? What that's the mullet it? speaker. <laughs> so like mullet. party in the front. <laughs> Business in the back. That's it. So, so this speaker is so dynamic because you're going to get all of the push and that round, beautiful, deep sound from QSC, but you're not going to get destroyed in the back because it's 15 dB quieter behind the sub. So you and your booth are not going to get destroyed. You're not going home with your ears ringing. And I, we, go, we're, Jordan, we're getting these. I, 100%. Like, like we don't own them yet, and we're going. We're, but no, Brad, we're buying them today. And guys, and guys, I know you can't really see the depth from the angle of the camera, but these are super portable. Like, you could totally move these in a small SUV, a crossover. I mean, like, literally, like, how, wait, how remind me how, how what what are, what do these weigh again? They're like 88 pounds. Okay, and Amazing. then compared to because I'm about to bring up this little guy. Yep. So right, this little guy right here, which is a 60 pound little brother of the uh, KS212 on that side. Not cardioid because it's a single 12 versus the dual 12. Uh, but, but weight's not an issue because they have casters on all of their subs. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, weight is an issue for me. Well, <laughs> Yeah, I guess. I have a trailer, so I just push Which is a completely in. other cast and another and, discussion. And, and for, for people like for me, you don't go to the gym. Like, come on, man. <laughs> I mean, how tall are you? And, like, I'm sure your muscles are way bigger. And how tall am I? And, like... I don't know. You probably got me on the muscle uh, range there. But. <laughs> yeah, you're kidding me. I mean, these, these are all great and easy to in, to move, and they're accessible. Even the, the 118 yeah. um, is, what, 90 pounds, 95? They're a little over 100. Just, okay. Just a hair over 100. So. Man, I lift those things all the time. You need something that's, like, super <laughs> compact. you got a tiny space or you just don't have that big of an event to do, this little guy will get it All done. day. But and this so, guy packs. This Packs, oh. packs. It's a 2,000 watt sub. Yeah. I would, comp still, I would, I would put that up it. against if I had the option in my warehouse, I have those subs as well. Mm -hmm. I also have uh, like 12 or 14 181s. I would take the 112s over a 181 right now. Mm -hmm. For the look, it gets my speaker higher because yep. of the poles. And they punch. They are hard. Those one one twos are awesome. The, that's the thing. Like when I'm on the dance floor, like I want to feel the music. Right. Yeah. Like regardless. So every single one of these, it's like I can still feel it. Yeah. Absolutely. So here, here's what's so great about it, guys. And I don't know how you feel, but I see so many DJs out there not going out with subs, and it's because they're either intimidated by size, they don't understand about space, and they don't realize how important 
getting that full body what it brings, sound. Yeah, is. what it brings. So when you have a sub like this, this the, it's just so compact and so easy that subs are no longer intimidating, and and that's what I love about them. I mean, you could send this out with any of your DJs at any at, at any point. And for 50 person or you know 100 person events, these are great, and I love them for that. And that's that's one of the things that drives us is plug and play simplicity, right? It's something you just show up with. You don't have to guess, you know, how to right. set it up. You can you can run it to the tops first, and then to the sub. You can run into the sub to the tops. However, you can plug it in, it will work. And you know the things like the cardio weight, it just works. You don't have to fuss with any buttons. You know this guy, it just works. They're just all great sounding things that are. Really simple. To use. Right now, Chris, can you t can you actually you talk about the back? You're talking about the back. Are we right back here? The back. Panel. The on, back man. panel. <laughs> Yo, my brother uh, so from if Texas. You guys, We're if right you here. Have the regular K series K12s. If you have. Um, the old 181s, they were all digital dial, or not digital, they were just dials. Analog and gain, Analog yeah. gains and things like that. Switches. Now, now you have that digital read. Now yeah. we have digital reads, uh, which makes things easy. There's presets. There's mm -hmm. so many different things that you can do with the speakers that make your job easy. If you're not the smartest with sound and you don't understand all the frequency levels and things, there's a bunch of presets and things built in, delays, things like that. Can you yeah. tell us about those? Yeah, so every single one of these, because <clears> you know it's we're living in a modern world, so you got to have all the extra bells and whistles, right? So you've got onboard, on Onboard delay, uh, you get the ability to change the crossover. So whether you're using it with legacy Ks that have a 100 hertz crossover, with new K.2s uh, that have the 80 hertz crossover, uh, that setting is in there. It's all labeled. Yeah. So again, it's about some. That's my favorite about, part. No yeah, matter what my top is, I can go in and say what top I have on top, and the yep. sub adapts to that. Yeah, exactly. And you know things like out here, you know the our our top boxes are way back there. So to make sure that we've got the alignment of audio out here, we got the delay built into the subs, and it's it measures it in both milliseconds, feet, and meters. So if you happen to do a gig in Europe, <laughs> yeah. you're, you're dialed so, in. Well, I was going to say too, really quick, Dylan, and the cool part is when you're pairing with the tops, guys, you actually have settings on the QSD tops that now, a dance setting, you can have a club setting. Mm -hmm. Like, you can literally set your speaker sound based on the type of event that you're doing, and it's one word answers, super easy, and even for a guy like me who's not as tech savvy as these guys, Easy to rock Hold on, and roll. but like also, also here's what here's mm -hmm. my question because we're all talking tech, we're talking mm -hmm. specs and things like that. Right. If for those of us who aren't that, and I'm just like, I want good sound, I want my dance floor rocking. Mm -hmm. Like I put on City Girls, I need all my ladies to be twerking. Let's go. How do I make a decision on like what speaker is best for me? So, so let's talk that for. Great so question. Application is is important. That's why the KS subline is its own thing because now it's application based. Do you need compact? And small, easy to move around. Boom, that's going to be the one. Two. Yep, one, one, two. You want plug and play cardioid? Boom, it's that guy there you right go. there, which is you know still still pretty dang compact and portable for its size. And once again, cardio meaning party in the front, business in the back. Exactly. Or if you want to run around for a while. There Either you go. way. And that's then cool. if you really want to uh, you know shake them around and, and turn the front row into pink mist, uh, then right. uh, Dylan, the KS one one eight is the what one. What were you going to say before? The big well, slam and sub. So what what I love about it is that like Nate and I are going to look at these and we're going to geek out on all of the tech specs. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then Jordan, you're looking at it like, yo, is it going to let's rip? You know, let's rip. Is it no, going to punch them in the face? Yeah, let's so, rip. So you have that that threshold of stupid simple and it's gonna be great for for our beginner DJs our beginner club guys our beginner audio people yep. and then you also have the flexibility to hook it up with all the bells and whistles and and you're gonna have super great control over it yeah I mean Nate what are some of the cool things that you've done with these these uh, subs? I mean just just the other day I did a pool party and I took one KS112 and a K12.2 on top and I was at a pool and the staff came in from inside and asked me to turn the bass down so and that, that's a true story. That's honest. Like, and I was j literally just running one KS one one two. So, I love this speaker. I would put this speaker, like I said, up against the one eighty ones. Um, the things that I love about what they did with the new line is that the speakers are taller. So that's something like with the poles that you can get from QSC, or if you get Gator poles or any other thing mm -hmm. to make them adjustable. Um, I love that they're already taller. Um, I actually love that too because even as techie as I am not, I personally love the sound of going up and then out. Right. And I've seen some people that'll have just the regular 181s with the bass poles that are, I don't know, a meter long mm -hmm. and then a, a speaker on top and like your, your sound is coming at people in their chests and yeah. it's hitting them in the chest and right. you can't spread the room. I love that they're, they're taller. Um, I love the grills on them. Obviously that was something that they changed that was really crazy. Now mm -hmm. everything is really sleek. I really mm. love the, ho the holes on the one one two in the cardioid like um, I think it's just a really cool look it's different from everything else um, it's a no-brainer if you're doing live events that you need subs you need really good sound uh, Dylan asked the question some cool things I've done the proms were really cool when I ran four 118s um, in cardioid that's a, mode that's because it, it was big <laughs> I had uh, 
two KLA 12s on top of each side and then the four 118s and it was like the kids felt like they were at a concert a because festival, it was man. just so, sound, the dude. whole ballroom was just like booming you could hear it I, I went to the bathroom way down the hall and it's just you can just feel that room and it's like damn you had people outside like going what's going on in there and it was a prom so um hands down my favorite piece of my entire gear is my QSC stuff and my yeah. touch mix because like you said you can dial it in and Stay or in the room and, and set everything that you want. Plug and play and go. So uh, one of the things that I love doing, and, and this is from a, a sales perspective, is I, there's like pet peeves that everyone has about DJs or, or bands. And mm -hmm. they say like, yo, I leave and my ears are ringing or, you know, it's too loud or it doesn't sound right. And while they may, our clients may not be able to dictate that mm -hmm. to us, I hear it in their voices. And one of my selling points is I'm, we're going to have the right sound for the room. We're not going to overpower it and blow you out like Correct. Pink Mist, mm -hmm. uh, but we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna create that Unless nice. Unless it's a prom, and I'm full, <laughs> well, then, then we're melting faces. We're melting faces. faces. But, we're but faces. I use I use the sub and the fact that we have three or four different types of them mm -hmm. to create that 100%. sales pitch because you don't realize how important that is to the families. Like we talk about, it, like Grandma is now not going to have a heart attack because it's so 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 loud, mm -hmm. and I think that's a big deal. Right, like 100%. Just, if you're it, in the position where it could be clear, it could have punch, and people can still have conversation, where are you going? And you I know? pair it, and I know we've talked about this on DJ discussions before, but I, my main rig that I take to every event is going to be a KLA 12 on each side as tops with these 118s, and then two K, um, K8.2s K dot that are satellite speakers ran wirelessly. So what you're talking about, grandma not having to worry about things, like you, it's either if people just run a system in the front and they're trying to blast the entire room, way. Mm -hmm. like right. you have different dispersions of sound, like <clears> the, <throat> the tables that are closest, it's going to be really loud, where in the back, you may get echoes depending on your rooms. Well, when you can run delays and run satellite speakers yeah. that come back and you create a surround sound, you don't have to push your mains as hard. You right. can literally sit back, stand in the middle of the room, nice walk the room. Good. I walk the room with my touch mix and I'm like, oh, I, I, I hear everything great. To a I can go and do... Any announcement and everybody in this room is going to hear me clearly and, and in, a, in a full normal sound. So um, it's it's great. What else, Chris? Yeah. Well, you know, it's uh, great. What else? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So my, I'm gonna I'm gonna is, I'm gonna add one thing onto yes. that uh, one thing onto that too for those of you who didn't hear or maybe kind of just like because you ran really fast. But you my know, bad. one of the things about these is again you can pair these with like you know, an eight, a 10, a 12, or a KLA. Mm -hmm. So like, talk a little bit about maybe, and one of you two can do this, how, how do you make a decision of, you know, should I choose a KLA top or maybe a K12.2 top? You know what I mean? To pair it, right. So yeah. it's really, it's about application and especially when you're using subs, right? Because right. if you're not using subs, then, you know, if you need more low frequency extension, then it's it's physics. A bigger box is gonna give you more low end, right? So if, if you're not using a sub, you want to go bigger to the K10.2 or K12.2, so you get a little more, you know, booty in the bottom. Uh, booty you, in the bottom. Yeah. Booty in the bottom. <laughs> the booty in the bottom. And if you're using subs, the cool thing is you're not you're not working the bottom end of the box anymore, right? right. You're really working the high frequency. And you can box. set that to you can set you have an external sub, and exactly. it, it actually those presets just make things in the plug and play so easy. So it becomes then about what is the dispersion pattern that you need? Is it a wide ballroom that you're covering? Right. Well, let's talk about K.2s because they got a 105 degree coverage right. pattern. Is it a long, you know, bowling alley? Okay, let's talk about K12.2s because they're 75 degrees. And the KLAs are even smaller, right? Yeah, well, the KLAs are going 90 degrees, but they're a little bit more of a laser beam because they're 18 degrees right, this right. way. So those actually throw a little bit more energy, you know, sort of in a, at head height is really what you're doing, throwing that uh, yeah. that way. So it becomes, if you're using subs, it's like, okay, how... What is my setup? What is the room that I'm in? And then you pick the top box that fits the application. So I'm going to buy all of these then. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's go, people. <laughs> That's my thing, like, on, on the room and in, in where I'm going to be, Chris. And so, like, the pool party, I knew I ran a 10. It's got a – it's not – the 10 had way more punch than an 8, mm -hmm. and it's got a – a bigger dispersion than the 12. That's the main reason I took the 10 because I was going to get a, a wider throw. Mm -hmm. um, when I run my main system with my KLAs, I know and understand that they're going to be about a 90 degree like this, but that's here. And then with the eights on the outside, I can really fill that room. Mm -hmm. And I run my eights through my aux on my touch mix. So I have full control of those two speakers on mm -hmm. their own. So when dancing happens, I bring them down. So they're not blasting in the back of the room, just yep. the dance floor is feeling good. So you can adapt to your parties. Now guys, this is, this is simplified so much by QSC <laughs> that Nate is literally not only doing all of this tech work and all the audio behind the scenes, but he's also hosting, he's DJing, he's doing the whole nine. So like 
take that into into you know effect and just realize how easy QSC has made this for you guys to literally be doing multiple things at once as a single person at your event. Yeah. And it's awesome to see you guys jazzed up about this stuff. Too. Super excited! It's man. exciting. Oh. Pom -pom, wait, what are, are we doing? That are we taking? Are we taking QSCs on the beach tonight? Uh, man, if they'll let us, I'm down. <laughs> yeah. Or if we, no, if or we could no run, if we could run a long, if we could run a long enough extension, I'm totally in. Okay. Well, they yeah. get that, that battery box because they're so low current. There you go. Too, you know? Yeah. There you go. Let's hit the let's hit the product managers up for a battery uh, <laughs> battery powered rig. That, that we can take on the beach. Battery powered 3600 watts. You write that down. You write that down, Brad. Yeah. Nice. Well, guys, we, we've got to get to lunch because we are on our lunch break, but we definitely wanted to take some time to yes. come and join you guys today. Thank you guys for tuning in wherever you are across the world. I know we've got people watching from every region of the world. Um, so for all of us, I think we're hungry. We want to get out of yes. here. Chris, Sit. thank you so much for your time. Yeah, man, we, we appreciate, appreciate you. you. Team QSC from Being Hilton Head, here. baby. Yeah, absolutely. We will not be having a DJ discussion on Wednesday this week, so um, we'll see you guys next week. I think Kristen and the girls are back next week, right? It's, po it's possible. Right now yeah. I'm living in the moment, so living I'm not really, in the moment. Not, not really sure what I'm doing next week. <laughs> to be determined. Yeah, well, thank you guys so much for being here. On behalf of QSC, Jordan Marshall, Kristen Wilson, Dylan Weissman, Nate Nelson, and my man Chris, our product director. We'll see you guys next time. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.